Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the different commands for uh, creating extruded shapes and then some of the commands of pockets and bosses. Here we go. I'm going to start by creating a little rectangle. And, you know, in my samples, if you watch some of my videos, you know I like to oversimplify things. Um, so here we have a rectangle. I'm not really concerned at how big the rectangle is. Uh, you know, a rectangle is a rectangle. And I'm just going to go ahead and extrude. Now, when I go to extrude, right off the bat, we get into the default mode, which allows us to extrude that way, that way we can invert it all we want. Um, just a little power user trick for you, if the last time you extruded, uh, you'd had a really big value and it zoomed up like that, you don't know where the grip is. If you double click on the arm, it resizes it back to your current view. Just a nice little trick. Uh, of course, all of the balloons out here are modifiable, so you can type what you want. Um, I am in 7.6 right now, which is our new release that we're going to be launching here very soon. Another fun little feature is that you can type mathematical expressions, and uh, as you start to type them, we will kind of use a code autocomplete method to, uh, to help you out. So for example, if I wanted to do the sign, you see as I start, tar pardon me, start typing sign, it starts to fill it in. I can use my up and down arrow key to grab it, hit tab to select it, so I can take the sign of 6, minus the cosine of whatever and so forth so on. Any mathematical expression can be got that way. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to extrude this for one inch. Very exciting. From here, just so you can see everything a little bit more clearly, I'm going to make it transparent. And now I'm going to create a few planes. I'll go to my Tools tab, and I'm going to start by creating what we call a midplane. And this midplane I want to be between that face and that face down there. And like that, we have a plane that's always going to be centered on our extrusion now. If I double click on the solid to bring up the drivers and I modify my value, you can see that this plane maintains its location. Alright, let's bring that back. From here, I'm going to create a couple more planes. I want an offset plane, maybe referencing this top face. Maybe we'll go up for an inch and a quarter. Do this bottom face as well, and this one will go down just for half inch. And now what I want to do is I'm going to create a new sketch on this plane. I'm just going to create a circle in this case, right at zero. And maybe what I want to do here is just do another extrusion. Now this will create another solid body. Now what I can do is I can change my limit here to be up to a plane, or up to a surface, or a set of faces, or even another shape, okay, or a point of course. Now I can change it here, or I can right mouse button click and change it right here. So I want to go up to this plane. Maybe I also want to go in another direction. So I want to go to a second side. And down here again, I can go and change it in the dialog or by right clicking on the grip. And I'll go to a plane again. So like that, we've now limited our extrusions to and from some planes. So that creates another solid. That's pretty cool. But I'm going to undo that because I also want to show you something cool that you can do with bosses, or pardon me, pockets. In this case, my sketch is located right in the middle of my part. And what I'd like to do is create a pocket with it, and I want that pocket to always cut out. Okay, so I want it to go from where the curve is located, or the circle is located, out to the outside of the model. So instead of giving a depth, I'm going to do an in-place cut. And now here I can choose to go up or down, and like that it's going to cut from the sketch's location out of the model, and I can validate. And now just to show you what happens, if we go and make a design change, and again we make this 2 inches, for example, you can see that the pocket is being maintained, its, it's starting location is being maintained thanks to my midplane, and it's cutting out of the part there. Now, just like pocket, we can do the same with boss. So for example, if I go to this plane down here and create a sketch, and again I'm just going to use a circle because it's easy to follow, and now I can go to boss. Now in the boss's case, you can see it's floating up there, right? Well, I want to do an in-place boss as well. And an in-place boss means go from the sketch up to the model. That's pretty neat. But you know what? Maybe that's not complicated enough. Let's give you a, bit, a little bit better example. So what I'm going to do is exit out of that sketch. Actually, I'm just going to delete the sketch for now. So we don't even see it. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go and create uh, something silly. Let's say we do something like this. And it's not really silly, but it will set the, uh, the pace for things. 
So I'm going to be that far from there, and I always want to be that far from there, and everything else will work itself out. And what I want to do now, I'll cancel out of my function there, and I'm going to trim by profile. I'm going to get rid of the top there. We'll say OK. I actually didn't need to delete that other sketch, but I did, so oh well. Uh, let's go here, because this will give you a better example of the in-place boss. So now if I go and create this in-place boss, we'll switch here to in-place, and here you can see it's going up to the rest of the model. We can even add draft on the fly if you want. That's no big deal. Of course, got to have a realist come out. Uh, we can even add some fillets maybe. So here we have a fillet here. Let's do a eighth inch. Yeah, let's do a sixteenth. Let's say the top radius is a sixteenth as well. And the vertical sharp corners we'll do as a quarter. So here you can see we're doing a whole lot of work for you all in one step. Anyway, these are just some tips and tricks for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check back soon for more information on Top Solid 7.